Hello, I'm Christy Melton, a Principal Solutions Engineer with F5. Today I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the DDoS service on the Distributed Cloud Platform. After logging into the console, you will navigate to the DDoS and Transit Services tile. The main screen we will be focusing on today is the Visibility screen. The first tab under Visibility begins with the Dashboard. Please note that you can view all network groupings, IPv4 and IPv6, right here. You may also search. You can also adjust for bits per second or packets per second. And you can change the time frame you'd like to view as well. But please note, you need to click Apply and then click Refresh to show the updated data. You will notice that traffic is depicted by network, application, and zone. Next, at the top of the screen, you'll see events and alerts. Alerts indicate that traffic has reached a threshold and needs attention. Several alerts can be created from a single DDoS event. So the console allows you to assign an alert to an event. This is the case where multiple attacks are occurring against the same network. This also helps keeps things organized and can be used for analysis later. If you click on an alert, you can see the top prefixes and the ports. Under the Events menu, clicking on one of the event names will give more detail. Under the Mitigation Annotations, a timeline is given as to what happened and when regarding the actual mitigation. If there is a PCAP file available that would help in the mitigation, then there is the ability to upload it here. To view mitigations, click back on the visibility link here and click Mitigations. The Mitigation tab shows the recent and ongoing mitigation, as well as if it is ongoing, the network that is routed, the prefix, and the start time. More console features are on the roadmap, so please stay tuned as exciting things are happening on Distributed Cloud. Thanks and see you again.